Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, October 8th. We're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. And with 75 minutes to go prior to the opening, um, seem to be putting in a ton of volume uh, just above and below where we settled in SPY and ES. Russell doing it right in the middle, uh, above half back in the middle of value, and pretty much the Q's doing the same as us. But again, this is all pretty pretty meaningless as at 8.30 we know the algos will decide to go wild one way or the other. Um, but we're going to give destinations and a game plan for now and for after 8.30 and 9.30. Um, right now I'm just going to give you the overnight. You should have everything I gave you last night. Right now the overnight high is 4.39.80 and the overnight low is 4.37.77. Um, we'll be recapping all three of these indices charts tonight, um, break down what we look forward to uh, for the rest of the month. Now, as far as the game plan this morning, so we held, remember, we all held gaps. That's a pretty decent gap below us. We, absolutely, we also have that very small gap above us still hanging from the 28th. I would think there's a good chance... Um, now, f filling that downside gap will not be easy the first time, unless this number is, again, if the number's good, the market might go down because, uh, you know, people think the tape will come early. If the, number, if the job number's bad, the market might go up because they know they're going to keep backstopping. You know, flip a coin on what the algos are going to think. But the bottom line is this. If we open in balance... And then in value, it's not going to be much of a play. Remember, you expect tremendous chop if that happens, because we had we have nothing to lean on. We have we have the day's low, the day's high. We do have an eight wide pock. Like I said, one visual area might be if we are to run up between A's high and G's low. It will be in ba value, so it won't be the best trade. But you could maybe take a short there. But any acceptance, any acceptance above G's low in the pock. You'll go get yesterday's high and fill that other small gap. I'm not going to go all the way back to it, but that's for sure. And then above that, there's not much. So that's one thing to keep an eye on. On the flip side, if we take out yesterday's low, again, this gap is fairly large. It's $3. So the market's really going to have to dislike whatever, you know, for whatever reason, uh, the number that comes out at 830. So again... Without the number, can you take a long against yesterday's low? Of course you can. I'd be out below it because that gap is pretty big. You don't know how much they want to take out of it. And then you see if there's any taper to want to get long again before the gap fill. But remember, it would be done with lower value. That's definitely something to keep an eye on. If you get into that gap and then B takes out A's low, I'm getting on board a short to go finish filling that gap. So, again, these are really early plays. If you're in, the, in, in my room... We're going through this as it's happening live. And then, just quickly, on the daily chart, I am calling it up as of right now. It's not very happy the way, if you're a bull, the way it closed. I mean, we closed below the 20-day moving average right now. Um, again, any acceptance below that 20-day moving average, and maybe that gap does fill. On a normal day, a $3 gap is going to be pretty hard to fill the first time, although these algos have been moving, right? Short-term algos have to be respected without a doubt. So since we've had big ranges, although yesterday was the smallest range of the month so far and the lightest volume, which is just below average at 72.4 million, below the 20, then maybe we do fill this gap and we get sucked right into this big balance. And again, if that's the case, July's low then becomes a, a very, very visual point for for these algos to target at some point. On the flip side, if we get above the 20, take back most of what, sell, uh, what the buyers gave back yesterday, then we see if we can take out yesterday's high and go attack the 50-day moving average. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.